Hey everybody, Neil here. Thanks for joining me on the Rider Guider YouTube channel. Um, I get 300 hours on average of views every month, which is pretty amazing considering I'm not a big channel, so thank you all for that. I have though, however, got a bit of a concern. No women. I look at the stats and it's all blokes. Now let me explain, there's, there's no reason why you need a penis to ride a motorbike. So where are all the girls? I'm going to be doing something about it. Mrs. Rider Guider has just bought herself a little Yamaha XT250. Now, it's got me thinking how we're going to transition her driving over to motorcycling. She's been driving over 30 years and is an exceptional four-wheelist. And she, as I watch her driving. She's obviously teched a lot on board in relation to the defensive side and it's got a lot of experience. The thing is, though, she's come from a background in the UK, like me, and we were all brought up on manual gearboxes and we've got some level of knowledge of how a clutch works. Now, I've noticed, however, there's a, a generational thing and vehicles have changed. A lot of cars now are transitioning straight to flappy paddle gearboxes, two pedals. No longer are we required to have a left hand for changing gear. We can of course be texting, Facebooking and um, holding the coffee. It's a free hand. It's a problem. And it's de-skilled a lot of people. And this is, a, as I said, it's a generational thing. Um, and I'm noticing and I'm getting asked quite a lot about how to control a motorcycle, keep it smooth. And I think it's because the lack of knowledge of the use of the clutch. So I've come up with a little bit of a video and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to use it for Mrs. Rider Guider as well. And she'll get a grip of how, and I think she'll do it quite quickly. I think she'll get a grip of how much we can use the clutch more than just for setting off, changing gear and coming to a stop. And this smoothing it out and easing in the power delivery to your back wheel as you enter and exit a corner, for example, or even in a straight line as you're approaching a hazard. You don't necessarily have to change gear to be using your clutch. You can just feather it slightly and bring it in and then release it just as you're approaching, just to decrease the speed, decrease your power. And this can be used as a control method for in and out of bends and in slow moving traffic. And I think this is something that's been missed and isn't nearly considered for, for, for people that have been brought up more recently on or with cars that are pretty much automated. So transitioning from a vehicle that's automatic and flappy paddle, it's difficult. They don't, people don't necessarily understand what is required to use a clutch properly. And if they're coming from that experience to a bike, let's see if we can uh, improve it. Have a look at this video. Let's get an example of some nice clutch work. So as you can see here, I've got my camera on my left hand lever. And we're gonna go up Greenhill Road. And we're gonna go through some bends. And we're gonna show how we don't necessarily, like there, need to be changing gear, just to drop the clutch and then feed the power in a little bit. And what I'm talking about there is releasing the power smoothly to your, to your, to your drive. So here, for example, I'm f let's get the third gear through the bend and I'm going to actually half clutch it, just find that friction zone and then feed it in the half friction, half zone. And when you're happy, you can get on the power, fully drop the clutch. Similar situation here. I'm looking right around the bend up here, see what's coming. I'm going to go left hand side of the road here and I'm going to apex it best I can. Do you see, did you notice there of the clutch? I didn't change gear, but what I did was drop the clutch, keep the, f f and then refeed the power in. Like here now, I'm not going to go too hard around this corner, it could be cyclists. Concealed driveway. Okay, see the mirror for the driveway? Right, let's do it again. We've got another right hand hairpin coming up. It's not a hairpin, but it's quite a sharp bend. So we'll get across here. 
moving out of that power delivery. Now, I've been up here shit earlier, there was a brick in the road here, so I'm going to watch for it. Just moving in and out of the power delivery. Now, without the clutch, you're talking about this abruptness. And you're coming into a right-hand bend, It's a bad camber there. That bit there. So what we'll do, we'll do it without the clutch on this bend. I'm talking back brake, ease off, smooth. But you don't, what you've got to try and do is get rid of that abruptness. Now this is whether you're in slow moving traffic, where you'll use your clutch a lot more. This is an example on faster roads through bends. Now you can smoothen out your power delivery. So I'm coming into this left hand bend now give this car a bit of room so straight and from here we're going to be looking at some right to left hand bends now so what's going to happen is I'm going to come into this bend I'm covering the clutch already I'm not feathering it yet but I've got a right hand bend coming up it doesn't matter this car's in front so I'm going to be slowing down anyway so I'm going to come to this bend now fourth gear without the clutch it's abrupt it's that it's no good that's not good at all but you can smoothen that out by doing this do you know what I mean it's just let's do it again on this next left hand bench if I back off here there's nobody behind me let's get third gear right we've got nice bench to show you here now so what I'm talking about is this Notice how I'm feathering the clutch, finding that friction zone. Again, dip the clutch, you don't have to change gear, just find the friction zone. Great example, left hand airpin coming up. So third gear will hold it. Have a good look around the bends down there. You see how I dip the clutch there, I'm going to do it again, I'm going to back brake, look into the bend, and you notice I just dip the clutch, and what I've done then is find that friction zone and let it go. It's not about changing gear, it's about controlling the power delivery. You don't just have to do it through, same again, through, through changing gear. I've not changed gear there at all. What I've done is just control the power delivery and smoothen out that jerkiness, that fueling, just by the blending of the throttle, the back brake, and the clutch. I've not even touched the front brake down there, hardly. Um, again, similar situation here. Another hairpin coming up. As you're coming in, feather it, let it go. Wow left shoulder there just to check right so let's do some of that slow speed clutch control through here speed up a little bit catching him up a little bit not just shut on and off the throttle because you get this this jerkiness what we're trying to achieve is smooth power delivery so you semi on and off the clutch just find that lovely little blend of power on and off Find that half clutch, find that lovely friction zone. You don't need to be on your brakes, it's too much then. Through traffic like this, you should really be just back brake only. Front brake gets that dive too much and it makes your bike imbalanced. Your back brake will slightly bind the back brake and it slightly sits your suspension down and it gives it a nice planted feel and keeps that balance between your front and rear brake sorry front, front and rear wheel sorry the front and rear suspension perfect so as I go a bit further forward I'm going to go the right hand lane shoulder checks now see what we're happening in front here we've got see what I'm doing there great example of just using the clutch without changing gear so here's an example and I've not changing gear, but I did the clutch there, I almost free wheeled round, but I was on the friction zone. And it's all that 
controlling of the power, especially in slow speed minute. I'm approaching a set of lights. They're all at red. Rather than just shutting off the throttle, at that point I'm not changing gears, but I've dipped my clutch and then refed in the power. Just control the power through the through the junction and, and away we go. An example here, and I'm not going to change gear, I'm going to show you what you can do. So just dip the clutch, fourth gear, I'm not suggesting you do fourth, but look what I did, I did the clutch, smoothed out the delivery, didn't change gear, in a car you'd be changing gear wouldn't you? On a motorbike, a very different animal. I'll go left here, get third, I've got a green arrow, dip the clutch here, power delivery, nice. Just control the power delivery. Okay, as I'm going down the road here, I'm still in third gear, I'm going to be turning right shortly, I'm going to do a U-turn. Just go talk to this lady in this black Mazda. How are you doing? <laughs> You're on my camera. You're going to be doing this soon. Just saying. <laughs> What's all this traffic? Uh, it's busy now. Only traffic lights. Yeah. in the distance we've got a bus parked, parked in, there's nobody getting on and off it so he might be parked there a while. So we'll drop back, let these cars come out. Now as we approach, I'm just going to dip, dip the clutch and just, it just says that surge of power in and out. Yeah, he's going to stay in that right hand lane, he's indicating he's, what's happening there. You see, he's, he's, I'm not sure if he's going to keep coming right, I think he is because he's going to be turning right, so what I'll do, left shoulder, don't dive straight across, because obviously the, I'm blinded by the back of the bus there, and right, we're going to back up here, that orange car behind me, mirror, so obviously I didn't want to dive straight down the left hand lane, until, I, until, I, until my way was clear, look at that, did you see that, wow. That white car nearly knocked her off. Let's have a quick word, make sure she's alright. Some people are a bit careless. I didn't actually see what was going on. I was too busy watching the the bus and chatting away. And that poor lady appeared to get hit. She didn't get knocked off, but it was quite dangerous. I'm going. Poor lady um, hit. I mean, I, I think she looks. The guys looked at her. She, from what I can gather, he's he's pulled out on her from the side junction and she was at the left hand side but she was actually trying to get across to the middle of the road to turn right into the junction that he was at and as far as I'm concerned he should have given way to her but I didn't see it I need to look at the footage so we will find out now she's not injured so that's great she didn't actually get knocked off um, so that's lucky and the guy obviously he did apologise, but he's, he's adamant that it wasn't his fault. Um, I can see his point to some extent, where if she's on the left-hand lane and left-hand side of the road, and then suddenly veers right to turn right, but he sh he's at a side junction, turning into a main carriageway, he's coming out of a side road. So it's really his responsibility to make sure the way is clear. The standard of driving, even here in Australia, is abysmal. Hence I am the rider guide and I'm going to have to look after anybody on two wheels. 